Saltill Devon's under-16 boys served up a heady dish of intense drama at Drum on Sunday when they forced their supporters to wait until the very last penalty to secure a tough but well-deserved victory over St. Joseph's in the final 32 of the Irish Cup. This was a resilient display of character by a Salt Hill outfit who went ahead on two occasions in the second half, only to be pegged back by their Dublin visitors who forced the game into extra time. But that was to afford no resolution to this affair, and we had to wait for the final penalty out of ten to see Salt Hill go through. This kept everybody glued to the edge of their seats to the very end, and even though it wasn't Salt Hill Devon's finest display, the character they showed spoke volumes for this union built by manager Kenny Gavin. The first half of this match was largely forgettable, with the tension of the occasion impacting on the quality of the football. This Salt Hill team likes to play passing football, and they will be disappointed that they were dragged into playing Route 1 stuff for much of the opening half. This came about as a result of a very crowded midfield, where there was no winner for much of the game. It was in the second half that Salt Hill Devon turned on the switch for this game. A powerful header by Finian O'Lee, who eluded his marker, put Salt Hill Devon into a deserved 1-0 lead. But Joey's struck back almost immediately to equalise. It was left to the other Salt Hill centre half, Robert Finnerty, to put his team back in front, again with a powerful header and again from a corner. Not long after, a rash challenge in the box by the usually reliable Evan Murphy gifted St. Joseph's a penalty and striker Ross Hanley converted. To all then, and into extra time. But the real story of this game came in the penalty shootout after extra time failed to resolve the issue. The hero of the hour was the Salt Hill Devon keeper James Grealis, who capped off a great display by saving the first two efforts to put the home side 2-0 up on the penalty count. But still, Salt Hill Devon had to wait for the final penalty to claim their prize. The drama was almost unbearable, but Salt Hill just about deserved their victory on this occasion.